Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. Yes, I was wearing the shirt at the end of the vlog that you watched on Wednesday. It is the same day, but even though my vlog is already up, already live, already going, I just wanted to start this vlog because I wanna show you what I'm about to start. I don't think I'll be finishing it tonight. I truly, truly don't, but I'm going to be starting I'm going to be starting one of these dot to dots. There's literally, I guess, a thousand dots. I don't know. So I took out the first page. And you guys, what the heck? These numbers are so teeny tiny. I can't even find one. Somewhere over here. Where are you? I found number one. Well, then where's number two? Wait, what? Y'all. Oh, two's way over here. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be something else. So, I'm gonna do like little updates on this. So this would be update number one. Oh my God. So that's the first 101. I'm officially an artist, so come at me, bro. Look at that. I think that's like a pine tree. I don't even know. Palm tree. Pine tree. Oh my god. Palm. Update number two. So I've done 201 dots. Yeah. I think I stopped being an artist somewhere around right here. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to a new day. The next day, I didn't do any more of the dot to dot because I think I can only do little bits at a time. So I'm actually just getting ready, obviously. I'm going to straighten my hair a little bit because it is pretty frizzy at the ends and I don't like that. I'm actually in the middle of making a TikTok. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out because... <laughs> I'm not very good at TikTok. Doing the best I can over there. Can you believe how badly our president wants TikTok to be like not allowed in the USA? I find that to be mighty weird, folks. I love TikTok. It's great. So I'm gonna finish getting ready. If you guys want to follow me on TikTok, you can. Um, my username on there is in the description below. Um, also, you can find all my other social media down there. So, deuces. <laughs> okay, so um, earlier I was out taking Twink to the bathroom. And I was listening to Marco Polo's on my phone. And it stopped all of a sudden. And I'm like what's going on so i take it away from my ear and this is what i see <laughs> why did my face freeze this is what uh marco polo looks like why did my face freeze i don't know like that i don't know i look like something's wrong Something Look very scary. Possessed, like demonic possessed. <laughs> is what I'm thinking. So as you guys know, I'm constantly debating back and forth. Should I cut my hair? Should I not? Blah, blah, blah. I like my long hair, but I want to go short. So I saw someone on TikTok use this Instagram app to kind of decipher how she would look with short hair. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. And I want to show you guys. Okay. Okay. Watch. So that's how I'd look with short hair. I don't know. Watch it one more time. <laughs> uh, I mean, it doesn't look bad. I almost feel like it makes my face look smaller. I don't know. So something kind of tragic happened to someone in my family. Um, I don't want to go into it, but 
I guess during that process, they found some photos of me from when I was younger. So I'm going to show them to you guys right here. Um, okay, wow. I love seeing photos of me from when I was younger because I honestly don't really have any. I wish I did. I remember when I was really young before I got put into foster care, we did have a lot of family photos and I don't know where they went um, through it all and through everything that's happened. I lost 99.99999% of my childhood. So it's cool to see photos like these. And some of these photos actually were sent to me, I think over a year ago from my cousin. So yeah, my aunt sent me the few at the beginning um, just today and it was very, I don't know, it was just kind of weird to know that I used to be like a little girl. Like, do you guys ever feel like that too? Or it's just like, wow, we used to be like a little creature, like walking around and just like learning life and being a sponge. It's just so crazy that like, as a child, you are a sponge. What you see is what you do nine times out of 10. And then you grow up and become your own individual and try to shape yourself. You know what I'm saying? Hello everyone. Um, we just dropped off some trash and we are headed about two hours from here to my family to um, finally pick out a headstone for my mom's uh, grave. And then we have to go back to her house and go through her things, which I haven't been there since the funeral. And it's gonna be extremely difficult but I think I'll be okay. So that is what we are doing today. I love you. I love you, babe. I'll be okay. Sure hope so. So Becky and her sisters and um, her mom's lifelong partner are across the street. Um, looking at headstones and I'm just feeling sort of emotional I just Becky's mom was her absolute best friend and I just want to be there for her and out of respect I didn't obviously go over there um I just felt like you know yes I'm part of the family but I felt like it should be him and the three daughters um I just, I just got done crying a little bit, and, like, I don't know, I miss her, you know? And I haven't really, like, had time to, like, process myself that, like, my mother-in-law, essentially, because Becky and I are going to be together forever, is, like, not here anymore, and it hurts. Um, like, I don't know. I'm just feeling a lot of emotions like I wasn't able to go to the funeral because it was like two weeks after my surgery and I I physically couldn't and it just makes me sad so being here for this like makes it even more surreal and I am hurting for Becky so bad and it's just it's hard and it's like, I like to make positives out of every situation, and I'm sitting here just trying to find some type of positivity, because I always feel like I have to fix things, and I don't know if I have that right now. So, just being there for her, and knowing that she has so many people surrounding her that love her and care for her and who are there for her, I think that really... Is helping her through the whole process of it all. So, hey, we've been home for a few hours now. Um, they found a headstone at the second place they went to, and it's shaped in a heart. It's actually really beautiful. And the quote that they're gonna have on it is really sweet. It's actually something that um, a family member of theirs used to say 
So, yeah, um, today was good. It was hard, but it was good. Um, we went out to eat with her family, then went over to her family's house and spent time with them. And then after that, we actually went and hung out with Hannah and Rafe just for a little bit. Look at the difference that eyelashes make. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I ever did not wear these. Like, my mom, she's the real MVP right there. She's the one who introduced magnetic eyelashes to me. So thank you, mom. She doesn't watch my YouTube videos, so I don't know why I said that. <laughs> So yeah, we're just uh, keeping it low-key right now, just getting ready for the night to just relax and chill out. I'm probably going to catch up on some YouTube, do a little bit of writing, mark off things on my to-do list. I do that every day and night. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so it is the next day because this is what I slept in, but I am... I haven't changed yet because I'm kind of just like relaxing a little bit. I'm actually coloring. Don't judge me. It's an adult coloring book. There is a such thing. So I just wanted to show you guys. It is a mythographic color and discover paradise. There's like hidden pictures within the picture. So this is the one I'm doing right now. It's like dolphins made out of like crystals which is so cute. And like some of the hidden things is like a calculator or there's like a lock right here. Um, there's coffee, um, a popsicle, a bag of money, you know, stupid stuff like that. So I started this last night actually. I have some palm trees colored. So that's all I've done and it took me forever. Like, I don't know. And I'm just using these Sharpies because they're very thin small pointed I think they're called like thin point ultra fine point okay so that is what I'm gonna be doing just for a little bit after I woke up just a little bit of a stress reliever so I did some pink clouds um, some of the seaweed different types of green um, colored these flowers did the lock, an arrow, and a purple moon. So I think I'm done with my little moment here and I'm gonna go get ready for the day. Aren't these so cute? I haven't gotten ready yet, but I'm about to. But then when I put them on, they don't look as good because my feet are pretty wide. Okay, so getting ready, getting me a pair of shoes, pink shoes today. So one of the reasons why I'm wearing this outfit is because, okay, I get rid of a lot of clothes, you guys. Like I buy a lot of clothes, so I get rid of a lot of clothes. Like it's like a, I recycle clothes is what I'm trying to say. And normally I'm just like, okay, get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of this. This would be one of the things that I'd get rid of, but I've never even worn it before. So my new thing that I'm doing is wear it before you get rid of it, whether you've worn it before or you haven't, just to see how it feels. And so far it's been working. So <laughs> this is one of the outfits where I'm doing that. This is what it looks like. You guys can kind of see, running into the wall. Let's see, maybe I could put y'all somewhere else. Here. There we go. I don't know. I almost feel like it's too girly. Like, I don't know. I'm trying to find myself find my style and with what you guys saw yesterday with what I was wearing yesterday my hair was down and I had the uh, dress on with the moons and stuff like that felt more like me than this like I just don't feel myself 
like this. This is where you guys sit all the time. I don't know. I don't like it. I don't think I like it. So we are running some errands. First place we went to was the bank and now we're at the UPS store because Becky actually got a gift from one of her friends that she used to work with who now lives in a different state. Um, so she wants to mail that off. And I want to show you guys Becky's outfit. Wait, babe, babe. Okay, you can just stand over there. Look how cute she looks. Oh, baby, baby. Why am I so lucky? Ooh, shake that booty. She's so adorable. I, like, literally can't. I, like, cannot. Oh, no. No. There, look, 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 look. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Hi. Hi. The lighting is... Randy. What are you doing? I'm trying to fix the lighting. So how's your day going? It's all right. I'm a little annoyed right now. Okay. Tell me why. Because I need all the way over there and I can't get all the way over there. So now we have to turn that way. Well, so we're supposed to be going that way. We're in the wrong lane. Yeah. That's I okay. Couldn't, I couldn't get in the right lane. That's all right. The maps will fix it for us. Update time. It's now dark. Hi, babe. Hi, babe. Oh. She's mocking me again. So, update. We went to the Dollar Tree. We went to Goodwill. Um, we ended up getting dinner at this place where you actually stand in line and you build your own pizza. It was actually pretty cool. So I tried to make mine as healthy as I could. I got nothing but veggies on mine and like the crust is like this thin, which I think I prefer. So now we're doing some real grocery shopping. Finally, we haven't done a true grocery shopping trip in, it's been a minute. So I am really excited. Our fridge is completely and utterly empty. <laughs> and that's just me being honest. And the only thing we have in our um, pantry is like, I have some chickpea snacks. I have a few cans of like soups. Yeah, so I'm pretty excited. You ready to do this, babe? Yeah, hold on. I'm trying to look for something funny. Oh, and a gift? Mm -hmm. For who? Misty. Why? What, what did she post? Trump taking down uh, McMahon. Said, oh, uh, look, an orange beating up a cinnamon stick. <gasps> okay, bye. All right, you guys, we're going to do a grocery haul. I have three bags like this. And I will say I'm a little annoyed because the lady who bagged it still bagged all of my stuff in plastic when the point of me buying four of these was for that not to happen and I didn't notice it was happening until she was halfway through and I felt too bad so I was like oh it's okay so <laughs> okay first thing I got two of my favorite toothpaste Sensodyne Pro Enamel Gentle Whitening. So, got two of those to stock up. Got some more toothbrushes, which these are also my favorite. It's the Vibra, Vibra Clean Deep Cleaning Toothbrush. Just great stuff. I got Rarity some toys. I got Twinkie a toy. And why I say rarity is because Wasabi doesn't play with toys. Wasabi, Wasabi, Wasabi. Wasabi simply watches rarity play with toys. <laughs> it's cute. So I got this Brilliant Eyes Ombre Liquid. It is eyeshadow by L'Oreal in the color 445 Crown Gold, which looks like that. I got another one in Brilliant Eyes Liquid Eyeshadow in the color 425 Amethyst Quartz, which looks like that. Then I got some Revlon um, Ultra HD Matte Lip Color in 680 Glam Glamour. Such a pretty color. And then I got some Maybelline 
uh, the Superstay Matte Ink in 270 Coca Connoisseur. Someone on my words, which look like that. So now we're on to the actual groceries. Becky and I buy separate groceries because we eat differently and plus we spend money differently and all that. Um, okay, so I got honey mustard. This is strictly just the stuff that I got that I'm gonna have. Vitamin water. This is the zero sugar one, so there's only, oh, there's no calories. Oh, <laughs> okay, for some reason I thought there was. I actually got three of those. I don't know where the other one is at the moment. I got my favorite hot sauce, which is Tapatio. I love Tapatio so much. I got some caramel premier protein. This is just for when I'm too lazy to make something and that's just me being honest. They also have their pumpkin spice out now, but I have realized I hate pumpkin spice. I mean, I don't like how it tastes. I don't. I got some Del Monte cut green beans. I got 50% less sodium. I actually got a few cans of those. Another. I got two cans of the Rotel Mild Diced Tomatoes and Green Chilies. So two of those. I got some chicken stove top stuffing. Really random. I saw this at the checkout line. This is probably why they put it there because people are just waiting and they're like, oh, that looks good. It's private selection caramel milk chocolate and robed pretzels. Look how good that looks. For one pretzels, 100 calories. I got a beef ramen and a chicken ramen. I got two bags of this ready pasta elbows, which is one of my favorite pasta shapes. I got some edamame, low fat feta cheese, this garlic and herbs spread. You guys, I recommend this wholeheartedly. It is absolutely delicious. I got a chocolate fudge brownie Ben and Jerry. My other vitamin water, there that is. I got some turkey burgers, which I love making in the air fryer. Um, it's made with white turkey, which is awesome to see. It's 65% less fat, all natural, Jenny O. These are my favorite, I love Jenny O. I got some frozen corn. Some of these Simply Potatoes shredded hash browns. You guys, I love these so freaking much. They're delish. I also love this, reason why I got it. This is lightly seasoned Asian medley. So good. I got some frozen peas. Just some ground turkey. I got this huge thing of chicken. It's just chicken tenderloins, which I prefer tenderloins over anything when it comes to baking chicken. So I'm just gonna bake all of it and then just have like leftovers. And obviously Becky can have some of that too because she does eat baked chicken. So Harvest Snaps is one of my favorite snacks, but they, they always have like the snap pea shape. Now they have Popper Duos. It's a green pea crisp and sour cream and onion. And they also have crunch Crunchians. It's baked, not fried. They're red lentil snack crisps, also in sour cream and onion. So, gotta try those. To me, that's a healthier alternative than to having like chips. I got some fresh broccoli. I also got some fresh cauliflower that is already cut up and ready to rumble. I did get this to drink out of, just a little drinker. So this is my last bag. I got whole wheat wraps in extreme wellness so I can make me some wraps because I really like the wraps that um, I get from what's it called Chick-fil-A but I want to stop ordering from there and I want to make my own so I got some rotisserie seasoned chicken breast which is one of my favorites it's becoming a food mountain and the last thing I got is some carrots so that's everything. I'm gonna put all this away, oh my God, and I'll be back in a little bit. All right, you guys, so it's the end of the vlog. That means it is time for a curvy comment. So let's do this. Today's winner is Haller Goodbyer. Of course you have not changed. 
You thrive off of negativity, and you know that gives you the most views to get that coin for Walmart crap. We should not give her the attention she thinks she's going to get, honestly. All right, I'm sorry, but if I thrived off of negative attention because supposedly that gives me the most views, which then in retaliation would give me the most money, these are not the type of videos that I would be filming. It's just weird that anything that I do that people think is like cringy or whatever, which is just being me, people think that I'm trolling when I'm not. So it's like, if you guys think my whole life is like a big troll fest, that's just an opinion and it's not true. Anyways, I'm done with this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.